choosing to drop the masks. We all wear masks of one type or another. It has become a habit to put on our masks as we meet each other, as we greet each other, as we pass through daily life. And often it happens when one meets another. My mask simply meets your mask. Why do we create masks? Why do we wear masks? To wear a mask helps a person to feel a bit more secure. It gives some form of identity. It creates a self-image, an image which I would prefer a person to see rather than to see the true me, the real me. And so what has happened is that the masks have taken over. We may describe these masks as ego masks ego-based identities which we carry around and base our self-importance and self-esteem upon. But yet, these ego masks connected to our temporary identities, these are not real. These ego masks once once they are challenged, they cause emotional reactions. To step behind the mask is to rediscover true inner strength and a place of inner security. Let us practice dropping the masks and returning to our true inner strength. being with myself, reflecting upon my own self, I first of all become aware of all the masks that I'm used to wearing in my daily life. For some, the ego mask of nationality is the main one. Perhaps for others, the ego mask of profession or race or gender or religion is the main one. And I know that when I wear that ego mask, it becomes my identity. The bigger the mask is, the greater is the emotional reaction when that mask is threatened in some way. However, I am also aware I don't want to live a life of reactions to other people and to situations. I want to be free from these emotional reactions. On the behavior level, also on the level of words and even on the level of my thoughts. In order to be free from these emotional reactions, I choose to step behind the masks. I choose to drop these masks and I realize that behind the masks is the true me, the eternal me, the divine soul. I embrace my true original spiritual identity. I choose to live from this place, 
I am a spiritual being. I am a peaceful being. I choose to live from here. And as I remain in the awareness of my original and my eternal form, It brings up from within me my inner strength, my sense of security. And as my need for security comes from within me, from my spiritual identity, I no longer need to hold on to these ego masks. I no longer need to define myself by my masks and my roles. Although I continue to play different roles in life, I now realize that I am none of these roles. My self-value, my self-importance is not measured by these masks or these roles, but rather it is based upon who I am and what I am. And that is my true spiritual identity. The more I am aware of my spirituality, the less I need these masks. And as these ego masks dissolve and gradually disappear, the only thing that emerges from within myself is a very genuine, very spiritual, a very pure love for all those around me. I am free from playing the emotional games of need and comparing and competing. I am free to be myself and I offer the best of myself to the world. 